welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Today I'm going to give you an update on my pack of wool hoodie and my pack of socks. I haven't had my pack of hoodie long, but it's getting to be pretty warm back home. So I'm not going to be wearing this much until probably October. So I thought I'd give you an update with it. So I have used this on a couple cooler weather trips. Uh, I had it on for the Upper Peninsula, and it was in the 40s at night. And I'm up here in Minnesota now, and I wore this on a week-long canoe trip. And the temperatures ranged from the 70s, low 70s, to the upper 40s in the evening. And this was the heaviest garment I had with me. I did not bring a coat. I brought a windbreaker and this packa. And it's been plenty warm throughout the whole time. This has a hood on it. I did an unboxing video on it if you haven't seen it. So this is made in Peru. This is alpaca wool. So this is like baby blanket soft. I've actually slept in this every single night here on the trip, as well as in my trip in the Upper Peninsula. So just swinging in a hammock with this on, and I was pl plenty warm enough. Um, if I was to wear this on some of the portages on this trip, so I've got my big barrel pack on, I've got my canoe on my back, so I'm calling like 100 pounds through the woods. This is not really tough enough to do that. This would get shredded. I would, I'm afraid I would have damaged it. So I always reserve this. I kept this in my barrel, in my waterproof barrel, until I got to camp in the evening. Now, some of the mornings was a little bit cooler. I did have a windbreaker on just till the sun kind of warmed things up a little bit. I didn't really need this sweater. Uh, it was something I look forward to in the evenings when the temperature is starting to drop like it is right now. So that's something to be aware of. This is soft enough to sleep in. I didn't wear a shirt under this. So I just had this wool hoodie on with the hood up and my under and over quilt. And I was good to go temperature wise. But I would not just go barren off through the woods. I wouldn't go collect firewood with this hoodie on either. It's just too soft for that. It's not for that. This is something that I put on in the evening and I look forward to putting on. This is something that just needs protected. Now, the socks are another deal. The socks are pretty darn nice. So these pack of socks I got as well, and they're a little dirty. Now, I originally was reserving these just to wear in the hammock at night, just because I get cold feet sometimes. And these are not like a heavy sock. This is more like a thick athletic type sock. Now, this is a baby alpaca fiber as well, so they're really, really soft. But I have had them on earlier. When I get my wet shoes off and put on my camp stuff, I will put these on. So these are going to need clean. These have been worn for the whole week, and they're holding up really well. As soft as they are, they're very durable, and they're still pretty warm. I love the socks. I'm definitely going to be getting more of these socks and putting them into regular wear. So this wool hoodie, it is lightweight, and I can just poke it anywhere in my bag. I can poke it anywhere in the barrel. It kind of conforms to whatever opening I have, and that's what I like about it. And I haven't really babied it in camp. I just don't go out. I don't bushwhack with it. I'm not using it on portages. If I'm collecting firewood, I'll put on a windbreaker or I'll take this off. And it is, it's getting some patina on it. It looks like, it doesn't look like it did when I got it. And I'm okay with that. This has that nice weathered look to it. And it's just more and more comfortable each time I wear it. But I'm not going to get to wear this again until probably November, maybe early October. It is just too warm. This is, even though this is a lightweight garment, size-wise, when you hold this thing, it's very light. It's very warm for its size. So you won't be seeing this thing again until the fall. So I just thought I would give you an update on the hoodie and the socks as well. So if this is the kind of thing you like, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment in the comment box and ring the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Burning River Bushcraft. I also teach outdoor classes at OutdoorCore.com. So if you haven't seen the first video, I'll put a link to it here. If you haven't checked out Packa's video, go to Packa's YouTube channel and watch the video and see what it's all about. It's an outstanding company. These are handmade by individual families and individual farms and individual women in Peru. Uh, and then they're marketed here. Mine is handmade. I've got a tag on it from who made it. It looks good. It's a high quality garment. And this is like baby blanket soft. You're going to love wearing it. Till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon.